Hello everyone, um, so today I'm going to be showing you a collection of little um, bath treats that I have purchased from Lush on o Oxford Street. So I know my videos seem a bit Lush mad at the moment, but these, oh my goodness, I, I got basically one of each just so I can show you guys. Just looking at them gives you ASMR for me. So yeah, they have lovely crinkly packages as well, so there'll be lots of crinkling to come, um, lots of whispering and soft speaking, and just a general kind of, if you like the general whisper videos, then I would give this one a, a watch. Okay, so they are all in this bag here. of these products are unisex so yeah I understand that I have a lot of male viewers as well as female viewers so a lovely unisex um, shelter in because there's a lot in here. I'm gonna pick them out random. They're almost like sweets. It's like I think in the style of the pick and mix sweets. Um, so I'm gonna pick them out randomly. Okay. So the first one I've got is. Well, I'm gonna start with the fun one. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's lovely. But Open them all just to have a little peer inside, but they come in these little bags. This one is called Razzle Dazzle. It says, if your hinges are rusting, give a meal razzle dazzle. Chicago on, Chicago on, to, uh, and pop it in the bath with Persian lime and bergamot oils. You'll be begging for more. Okay, wonderful. Just to show you, oh, it smells delicious. So it is a pink oh, ball. You can see I've just moved away. It's covered in this silver luster. Very oily, squidgy, and these ones. Look at that silver. Sorry, got pink luster. It smells incredible. Oh my gosh, this one is. I've never used it. I wanted to film this before I use them. Oh my god, I can't get it up. This is the first one and I'm obsessed. Anyway, you would just run the whole bath, drop it in, and that will just melt away all the lovely oils and butters. So we have this pink, razzly dazzly one indeed. This one's called Furs, so I've kind of put the label, but it's 
process. If it might look prickly, but it's blooming lovely in the bath with an aroma flower on top. Drop it in the bath to take a trip to English meadows scented with gorse bushes. delicious but they almost remind me of truffles the same texture almost as well as truffles oh very squidgy melty and you've got the little flowers this one's nice and asmr -y. oh the petals are falling out everywhere okay that's fine so this one is really, really fragrant and they say it smells like gorse bushes. It does just smell of meadows, it's lovely. And it is a green one, so a tiny bath green I imagine. A nice gentle green. It's grown on me. I remember I smelled this one in the store and I wasn't that keen. But yeah. This one's called Happy Thoughts. This is the only one that I have tried before and then I repurchased it because, oh actually it reminds me, I have another one. Oh well, anyway, I, I have one from another trip but we'll just do this. So this one says, you, you've got to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, how are you going to have a dream come true? Pop this melt in the bath for a pool of Brazilian orange oil and a roly positive lovely little label happy thoughts so if you are feeling a bit down a bit you know, this really I guess would have lifted your spirits what will it look like bam it's incredible I, I wish you could smell this this is how I picked a really big one. It's covered in, I think it's sugar. Okay, might not be sugar. Okay, mm -mm. okay, may not be sugar. I had this last week with the Mexican candy thing. I was like, look at all the sugar. And it turned out to be chili powder. If you haven't seen that video, you should. It wasn't fun. I have a thing with. Them. Anyway. milky bath. So all of the bath melts are Oxford Street exclusives. So that's the big Lush flagship store. Apart from this one, this one has just been introduced into all of the Lush stores. So even if you haven't seen it before, it, within the past few weeks it's new. But you can buy this. Oh, mine's very squishy. Very squishy. just come up okay okay it's fine oh it smells so good, good. Okay. okay well it has just crumbled everywhere
did is, do you know what to use them anyway? Because you have to crumble them underneath the tap. Oh my god, I made a mess. So I'm not that worried really. But anyway, it did look like a nice little milk bottle. It has um, milk powder in there as well. So this one isn't vegan, but it makes you nice and soft. Little gold, sorry, silver little tip for the cat. Monsieur Gustave, question, sorry, without question, without fail, always and invariably exceedingly lovely. Take a while with Monsieur Gustave in the bath and let lavender oil, rose, oh, and tobacco absolutes wash over you. Interesting, sound a little bit sensual. Ooh, this one looks amazing. Wow. I'll admit, I did not know that tobacco... What was this? Tobacco... the lavender and the rose. Do you know what it smells like this? <laughs> um, this is the toner water aroma, which is lavender and rose water. There's a really funky looking purple one. Yeah. It smells delicious, really grateful before bed, this one I'd imagine. Oh, really oily as well, yeah. Look at that, wow. Really nice deep purple. So as I say, these are bath oils. They will just melt in your bath. You will, I imagine, come out slightly shimmery. These ones are very similar. Razzle Dazzle and Meshuggah stuff. This one says, you're my sunshine, my only sunshine, you're my sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy when bars seem grey, when bars seem grey, release the sun by popping the, popping in the bath and soaking up the Brazilian orange oils, Sicilian mar mandarin oil and f tangerine oils, it's a very orangey one I'm imagining. Looks incredible, like a little sun. So this one, as you can see, is a lovely bronze coloured one. And it has the same scent as the perfume that I do called Sun. It's a really happy kind of fragrance. Um, it's like the golden snitch almost. This one's a really nice one. I think I prefer... Happy thoughts because they're both very orangey, but this one is m more refreshing as well. But they're both lovely. Okay, this one is shark infested custard. I know that this is a really popular one. Um, this is like a lot of people's favourites. It says, "What's yellow and dangerous? Not this. Hold this vanillary scented melt by its melon paper fin." and dive in the bath waters. Da -da -da -da. Nourishing butters will release and nourish the skin. This one looked really fun. I remember this one. Wow. So, this little fin here is made from 
from Melon, so it looks a little funky, but this is, this is like edible, scented, it wouldn't taste good, but yeah, Melon paper, so it's nice and softening for the body, not that you really get a whole lot to work with, but it just looks cute. really squishy. This one doesn't have any glitter. It's a really nice, just creamy um, custody one. It smells like vanilla and like a little bit caramelly. Mmm, so good. But it looks really cute and this one leaves you mega nourished and moisturised. Oh, so good. Yeah, shark infested custard. Okay. Heed the sage, heed the sages, and walk back in time. It's about like the herb. Um, through sprawling bram brambles and nettle and nettles, with this delphine, with this delphinium flower melt. Let it go in the bath to create vibrant lime green waters with geranium and rose oils. Sounds interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, floral scents, so jasmine is a big no for me, um, but I remember that this one looks so cute. Okay. Again, this one and it's grown on me at the big time, so. This one has flowers, petals all around it, with a green base underneath. Really cute looking one. Really, I just think these would be such, you know, cute presents. I would love to receive these. This one, yeah. It reminds me of something. Very familiar scent. The smaller flowers to be there, but not the perfumey kind. It's quite nice. Very earthy. Mmm, delicious. Okay, this one. This one's the strongest smelling one, and I did buy two, so I've already used one. Um, you've been mangoed, bath oil. Mango Unchained releases temptingly tropical melt with avocado and mango butters in the bath to liberate your senses with truly fruity fragrance. Sounds good. looks like a little egg. It's meant to be a mango, so it's flat. If I was to break this in half, it has a bright orange centre, but it is around. It's so intensely, um, mango-y, but it's, it's more zesty, so it's like a lemongrass, almost very just. It smells exactly like, I don't know, if you've ever smelled the bath bomb, Avo bath, it's like a lemongrass one, very like refreshing, just smells just like that. I used this um, before I was having a, I was having a bath and um, before I was going out and it really helped to kind of wake me up and well just make me smell really good. But it's so cute the shape how it is, they're all so jazzy most of them and this is literally like a little mango. Again it looks like a chocolate, feels very oily. Okay, and then we have, I think finally, this floating island. This one says, if you like, if you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, drop it 
this in the bath and let tides of lemon and sandalwood wash over your senses. Relax as you float away to your own sweet dessert island. This one really looks like a chocolate. It's quite big and it just smells, this one smells the most luxurious and just creamy. Um, they said lemon, There's, I can, you, you can't smell lemon, you see the little vanilla pod up on the top there. Like a vanilla -y. white chocolate scented, I think that would be the best way to say it, white chocolate scented one. I haven't used this but I imagine it would be similar to mango and have a really creamy centre. Mmm, smells incredible. I think this one might be really good if you just want to really pamper yourself, have the ultimate relaxing, luxurious bath. This one's just so creamy scented. If you just saw this though, and someone, let's say someone had a little kitchen on a plate, you would just take a bite, you'd be like, that's nice chocolate. Um, Anyway, that's irrelevant, I guess. Um, but yes, this little one here. That is all. Well, I have one more bath melt, the marshmallow one, which looks like a little um, a flattened circle. It has a pink and a yellow side, but that's kind of buried away. Um, there are a few more that I did not purchase. So there is the Johnny Appleseed, if I remember, which is that really nice apple one. There's the Lime Pastel, which is a Lime Pastel scented one, surprisingly. There is, I think that's, oh no, there's something called like Storm Over Troubled Waters or something like that, which is, it's meant to smell like the earth after it's rained. So there's that one, um, which I, I naturally I love that scent, not so much in the bath oil. But these ones, I all oh, I love them all. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this little show and tell. Um, I just thought they're so cute. I just wanted to go through them all, and hopefully this triggered you, I guess, So thank you for watching and.